Hey everyone, this is Grace. Hope you've been well. I am actually freehanding this video because um, I am preparing some offering envelopes for week one of Advent season. And so my goal is to have a different Christmas um, or Advent offering envelope for each week so that the kids get a little bit excited for the birth of Jesus when we celebrate on Christmas, right? So anyway, what I did was um, I took the house mouse stamp um the little angel um declaring the birth of jesus da, 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 da. and then i found um this joy to the world from this echo park designer stamps so this i purchased earlier on this year and i used that one and this was the one with all the different names um of jesus as well as um some you know spiritual sentiments and so yeah and then for some reason i couldn't find my name stamps so i just thought you know what i'm only making 20 this week so i just hand wrote it using a um, little green pen and the stamp ink if you guys are interested is this the stampin up wild wasabi and then with the red I ended up using the Studio G. Um, it's just red, I think. Anyway, I like using this because um, it just washes so cleanly. So that was this week's, um, the first week of Advent's offering envelopes. I made about 20 of those. And then... Um, the kids, as well as the youth group, so the children's department, as well as the youth department, wanted to do Secret Angel. They like to do that every year, which is basically the church version of Secret Santa. And so what I did was, um, oops, hold on, let me find my stamp. All right, I am back. So um, this is all I want for Christmas is um, from Hero Arts. And let me see if I can find a name for it. Yeah, it doesn't seem to have a... Oh, no, it does. The title of it is Want for Christmas. So for those of you who are on the hunt for it, K5859. And I bought this, what, two Christmases ago? It's wet right now because I just washed the ink off and I'm letting it... Um, I was letting it dry in my bathroom sink. But yeah, um, I end up doing this every year. Last year I did that too. And so um, I stamped this with, I can't remember, was it Berry Burst? I remember it was some sort of stamping up ink, which I loved. But um, I don't know where that little ink spot went. So I opted for the Studio G red one. So this is going to be used for the youth kids. And then this will be used for the children's. And it's really nice because um, I think I set the limit um, so that the kids um, who want to participate, I tell them, I think the limit is either $10 or $20. I let them decide, but I don't want them to spend or feel burdened, you know, to spend a lot. So I just tell them it can be a gently used um, gift that looks new. If you haven't used it, by all means, you know, re-gift something that you have from home that you think your secret angel will like. So, um, but anyway, this is really nice because there are little five lines here. And it's a way for the kids to kind of give their secret angel person some hints or some tips on, um, you know, like say, for instance, they can write their favorite color. They can write their interests. Um, they know. <laughs> it's so funny. They all know. For me, it's like peanuts, like Snoopy, Sherlock Holmes, anything like scripture, like um, nonfiction books. Um, like Philip Yancey is always a good one. Recently, you guys, some of you guys know I'm going through slowly but surely A.W. Tozer's um, classics that I purchased in a volume. But I only read that when I'm over at my sister's place. And, you know, I have the entire complete works of Charles Spurgeon's sermons that I need to read through. And so, you know, things like that. Um, 
they can certainly write down not that they would write those down but you know what i mean like if they like my little pony they can say my little pony or if they like crossword puzzles they can write crossword puzzles or whatever so anyway i thought that this would be nice i used the ivory color cardstock from michael's and then just stamped it out and then i just cut it and it's kind of nice because then the kids have something to write and it was so cute last year you guys may not think it's cute but i thought it was cute i ran out of these tags because I wasn't expecting the children's group to use them. Um, I only made enough with a little bit extra for the youth kids. And the kids, the children in the children's department wanted to also do it using this tag. And so it was so cute. They were like, Miss Grace, do you have any more Christmas tags? And so I had to stamp out a few more and, you know, give it to them. But yeah, so I think it's just a nice little way to make it um, just fun and crafty, you know? So... Anyway, I think I am done now for getting ready for Advent week one. Stay tuned for you guys because, you know, last year I wanted to celebrate, you know, the excitement of the Christmas season with giveaways and I just wasn't able to because, you know, finals um, in the fall term and then my body was just, you know, it was just headed toward that train wreck. So I didn't get a chance to do that, but I will be doing that this year, I hope. So stay tuned. Um, I'm hoping to give away at least three different giveaway sets um, for the Advent season. So stay tuned for Sunday because I think I'm going to set the video to upload 6, 6 a.m. Um, Pacific Standard Time. So that'll be like 9 a.m. East Coast time. But my hope is to upload a Advent giveaway for each Sunday leading up to Christmas. So I hope you guys are excited and um, yeah, I think that's it. So have a wonderful rest of the weekend. Have a blessed Sunday and I will see you guys later. Thanks for tuning in while I share with you some of my Advent craft stuff for church. So like, subscribe and I'll see you later. God bless. Bye.